anything that isn't um, heritable? Is everything genetic? Well, these are some very important ones we've been looking at. And this is the best list I could come up with, I'm afraid, for you. You may find some other ones. Whether you prefer milk chocolate or, or dark chocolate, we did do a study on this, and it was live on television, actually, at one of the Christmas lectures from the Royal Society. And it showed absolutely no heritable effect at all, although you'd be pleased to know nutty centers versus soft centers was genetic. So you can do your own studies at home to prove or disprove that theory. What foot, whether you prefer Manchester United or Chelsea or Arsenal, it's not heritable. Whether you like Mr. Bean or not, we weren't quite sure whether people liked him in that romantic way or uh, just they found him funny, but we could find no heritable basis for that. Miscarriage rates, this is a, a serious study we did because uh, one in, uh, about one in six women uh, have miscarriages, very common. Ma many others have it without noticing or very early. And if you take the sort of ever having a, had a miscarriage, there was absolutely no genetic component to that at all, which is surprising because I've given you a list of everything we've tested and everything's genetic. So why would that be? Had we measured it wrong? Sorry, we measured about 3,000 women, big study, no reason for women to lie about it. All our questionnaires are anonymous anyway, and it's, it's no longer got a particular stigma to it. So I don't think it was that. I think it's nature showing us that miscarriage is there for a reason. It's a random error detection method that should affect equally everybody. And so it's, it's a natural process of eliminating uh, fetuses with bad genes. You know, it's upsetting for people, but I think what it shows is there isn't some group of people who, who are more prone to them, because obviously, if it was genetic, those people, would their, their genes would have probably died out. And someone who never had a miscarriage, their genes would be very powerful and take over. So it explains, in a way, evolution, an evolutionary basis, why that's true. Now, I've got the G-spot down here. Again, that was another uh, one of our studies that got a lot of press. And a lot of, again, apart from the smelly armpit study, that got me the most mail. And we said it wasn't heritable and therefore probably didn't exist. And I got hate mail from <laughs> two groups of people, actually, sexologists in Italy and France who were charging 800 euros f for their patients so they could find their G-spot for them. Good living if you can uh, <laughs> make it. And the other group were men who claimed to be fantastic lovers, saying that um, you can't be right. I know I found it in all my women. They're so happy with me, they tell me I'm the best lover I've ever known. <laughs> Strangely, no individual women wrote to me at all. It was only men. <laughs> so there you go. So some of these, you know, probably scientific myths that you can sort of... Um, uh, change with these sort of, you know, at the same time fun but also serious studies that do have a scientific basis. Mm -hmm.